Last saying in Igbo land that no matter how an Igbo man is careless with his spiritual life, he will never leave his chi. Well, this is exactly what um, Joey Zaza, Alex Ekubo, Vintage Interior, the family of Joey Zaza were all doing in Ekulobia some days back. Well, it was a pure praise. Now, the party was about the father who, who celebrated his birthday and also marked the grandfather birthday. It was a double celebration, like four celebrations combined in one. And they had to take off four days and do all of those massive celebrations. It was fun. It was entertaining. It was a time filled with joy and laughter for the Joey Zaza family. Anyway, here is another highlight. Don't forget to subscribe. goes out to our very dear colleague John Oka from Istibu. His family have been doing their best since it was reported last year he was sick. And now they have come out to say we have done our best. We need public support. It's not in any sense wrong. Would you have felt would you have felt bad or better they kept quiet and allowed our colleague to die? Now I condemn in strict terms Reno Omokire, who is coming to call Peter name and so on. 
it is not a friendly thing, it's wicked. And the other guy, I think Uche Madrago or so, who talk about top actors, shame on top actors, shame on you too. I say shame on you because you don't have any value and level to call our names. It's an individual thing to do to support a colleague. It, comes, it becomes a collective as, a, as actors need of Nigeria who are doing their best within their limited terms. Don't forget, some people learn to give personally, privately, not their names to be mentioned. We will, as individuals, support our colleagues. We will, as a guild, support our colleagues. Even those who have given can also uh, be appreciated on the scale of what they have given to John Okafo. We compliment your efforts in giving. But nobody should use it as a platform to castigate and impugn or indict those who have not given. It is wrong and we don't support it. One at this level, let me commend people like William Suchemba, who built houses for the distressed Nigerians. He never indicted the federal government or for not building housing schemes for those who are distressed, those who are helpless, those who are homeless. We must learn to give. And I ask again, we may have opportunities in our lives to give to those who need help, but we must not use it to indict others who have not given. So this is a warning. If you want to give, give. We will, as individuals, as top actors, as you call us, give at our own levels. It is not very important and beneficial only when we announce it. So don't use our colleague's name, John Okafu Ibu, to trend just because you want a name. There's no mockery. If you want to command the national issues, be fair to yourself. Um, stop seeking attention. And for those of you who are seeking attention over people's ears, it is not again a good thing to do. And I ask again, even those who have given, go and ask your evil brother what Unyekozuru means. We all have opportunities to call for any help that we may call for when it is no longer possible for us to help on our own. I want to commend those who have given and those who have not given. If you have, please give. We wish our colleague John Okafor a speedy recovery. God bless you, brother. Yeah.